How did you feel when you guys got like that news and diagnosis? I didn't want to accept it. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. We went from being to the point where he saying daddy, mommy, yes, no, to like just going blank one day and like looking up in the sky. Same story. RJ was meeting every milestone, and then all of a sudden, like a needle on the record, he oh, stopped, stopped talking. I got to the point where like I started calling his name, and then like I walk up behind him, like, hey Quentin, I, I know you hear me talking to you. He kind of just like looking up in the sky, and I'm like, so that's when we kind of realized something's wrong. I told Ken when I first came here, I was like, man, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to really talk about it because I don't want to like get emotional on camera. You know what I'm saying? Because like, it's hard, man. Like, like, 100. percent I can really relate to William uh, being a dad, but he's much further than I was because I was in denial, and it took me a long, long time to come to grips with what RJ was dealing with with his autism. When we got our diagnosis, I was playing in Oakland. I didn't want to come home. I wouldn't come home because I didn't want to deal with it, you know, and, and start drinking way too much just just because I could not handle my son, who was the firstborn, not being able to do some of the things that some other kids were doing. It's hard, man. Like, it's been plenty of times. Especially our really rough days. Like, before we came here, he had the biggest meltdown because our flight was delayed. And literally, I was about to have a breakdown. Like, I was going to lay on the floor and cry because, uh, because so many people, because he was, like, screaming to the top of his lungs, like, crying. Right. Because he just wanted to get on a plane. Right. And so he would, like, jump over people and, and people, well, they just, just so don't bad. understand that. And they don't understand yeah. it. And they're, you know, he's screaming and he's on the ground and they're like, RJ liked to push that button to call the flight attendant. Just flight push attendant. it, push it, push it, and kick the seat. And this cat rolled around and said, can't you control your kid? And I was, he has autism and he, it's hard for him to behave in a certain way. I'll do my best. And there was no compassion. And it was really difficult. And you're going to have those situations. But what we want you guys to know is your child has so many possibilities yeah. that right now you're like, oh, my God, will he just even say, hey, Daddy, I love you? You know, like, uh, hey, Mom, what's up? You know, you just want the little thing. But you're going to get so much more than you expected. We feel it's our duty to share what we've learned to other autism families. We want everyone to understand that there's light at the end of the tunnel.